We can also use Perl to get some statistical information about the text file that we choose to target. We can do this with the stat function. The stat function returns an array containing a set of statistics about the file that we specify as the argument to the stat function. You'll notice again that I haven't used any brackets for the argument to the stat function, but we optionally could have done as well. The stats array contains a whole set of elements, and I'll just go through those very briefly. The device number, that'll be the media on which the file is stored. The inode number is a unique identifier to locate that file within the hard disk or wherever it's stored. The mode contains permissions regarding who is able to work with the file, who is able to read it, write it, execute it, and so on. The number of hard links to the file within the file system. And here's the owner's user ID and the owner's group ID. And these two are probably more relevant to Unix-based file systems than they are to, for instance, a, a Windows file system. There's also a device ID, represent the particular device on which the file is located, and the size of the file in bytes. Now this is the one that we're interested in in this case, because this can give us the entire size of the file, and that's going to be very useful to us in just a minute. The last accessed and modified statistics here, and the last time that the inode of the file was changed. These three are all listed in terms of the number of seconds since the beginning of the Unix epoch in 1970, January the 1st. So they may look like a strange number if you're not used to dealing with those kind of numbers. That's what they represent. They represent the, the time since they were last accessed as represented by the Unix timestamp. The last two apply to BSD-based file systems, and that's the preferred block size and the actual size of blocks that the file is taking up on the file system. Now, I mentioned that the size of the file is what we're really looking for here, and that's element number 7. It's the eighth element, but like all other arrays, the stats array that we've just pulled out is zero indexed. So element 7 is the one that we're looking for here. Now, this piece of information is very useful when we want to read in the contents of the file all at once. When we looked earlier at opening a file for reading, we were actually pulling in the file line by line. But if all we want to do is pull in the entire contents of the file, there's another way in which we can do that. Here's a short script or a snippet of code that does exactly that. Let's look at it line by line. First of all, after we've set up the variable file name with the name of the file we want to access, we run a stat function on that file name. You'll notice that we use the file's name rather than using a file handle. We don't use a file handle with the stat function. We just use the, the literal name. And if there was any uh, path that had to be included to access that file, we'd include that within the file name variable as well. So once we've got our statistics about the file, then we open a file handle again using the same variable as we did to run the stat function. This final line uses the read function, and the read function takes three arguments, the first of which is the file handle that it's going to read from, in this case, input, the one that we've defined in the line above. The next argument is a variable into which the data that we're reading in is going to be placed, and I've called this variable contents. Finally, the last argument is the number of bytes that we're going to read from the file. If we want to read the entire contents of the file, 
then we need to know how big the file is in order to tell Perl read this much. So what we do is we use the element 7 from the stats array and we use a dollar sign at the beginning of the stats array because it's in scalar context and we've re we use that to read in the correct number of bytes to get the whole contents of the file. We're using element 7 there as we discovered in the previous movie. So this is a quick way to read in the contents of a file.